This morning, there's new information in a drive by shooting earlier this week in Silverton that left a nine year old girl dead. Jordan Villines joins us live with the latest about the situation and about possible suspects in this case as well. So Jordan, what do we know? Well, yeah, so here's the thing, really new developments coming out uh, just yesterday, last night, we learned that two suspects have been arrested or are in custody in connection with the shooting death, the drive-by shooting death of that nine-year-old. If you guys remember, we've been covering this closely all week long, that happening on Monday, that shooting. And then just yesterday, the sheriff's office releasing new information about possible suspects tied to this case. They say initially, it started out with a chase that then ended in a crash, which then ultimately led it to the arrest uh, again of those two potential suspects in this case, all related to the drive by shooting, the deadly drive by shooting happening Monday night. Shortly after 1130 Monday night, nine year old Demaya Pinkins Barton was killed during a drive by shooting that happened on Plainville Road in Silverton when the house she was in was shot around 15 times. The very next day, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says the deputies found two suspects that they believe to be connected to that drive-by shooting. We're told those two suspects then tried to evade deputies, speeding away in a car before crashing into another vehicle. That happened at the intersection of West Galbraith and Daly Road. Now, following that crash, sheriff's deputies took the suspects into custody for questioning. The sheriff's office has not released the names of those two suspects, but according to jail records, two men were arrested on gun charges at that very intersection, West Galbraith and Daly Road, at 4 p.m. Tuesday. These are the two men, 22-year-old Demario Williams and 25-year-old Kasim Dixon. According to court documents, Williams is facing two charges, having weapons while under disability and carrying concealed weapons. Court documents state that Williams crashed at that intersection of Galbraith and Daly Road after refusing to stop for marked patrol vehicles. Documents show the deputies found a Glock 27 40 caliber handgun fully loaded in the driver's side floorboard. They also state that Williams had another gun, a Draco AK-47 rifle with a fully loaded magazine in his possession. Dixon is only facing one charge of having weapons while under disability. And according to court documents, Dixon was in possession of a Draco AK-47 rifle with a fully loaded magazine. Again, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office has not confirmed if Williams and Dixon are indeed the two suspects who were taken into custody for questioning in connection to that drive-by shooting that left that nine-year-old girl dead. So a lot of details, obviously, to still unpack on this case. And the sheriff's office plans on holding a press conference today at 3 p.m. to address many of these questions. And also, those two suspects are expected in court later on this morning. For now, reporting live, Jordan Valines, Fox 19 Now. And tonight, community members are honoring Demaya with a balloon release. It's happening at 615 at the Ryan Sports Complex on Meyer Place. An hours long.